All right, this is Phil, your friendly neighborhood surveyor again, and we're going to talk about curb stakes. Curb stakes. And this video is more for the people that are actually um, using our stakes. If you're a surveyor, you should know how to read. Survey lath. So, um, my crew drawing, the front of the lath, the back of the lath. Now, I work in Southern California, so this is common. These are common um, descriptions that we use in Southern California. Um, other areas, they may use different abbreviations, but this is kind of a basic understanding. So we're talking about curb stakes. You're normally going to have an offset. And the offset's going to be usually at the top of the lath. And then there'll be a line, sometimes two lines. We put one line. So this is a three foot offset to curb face. That's just a C and an F together. Other states, um, many other states, uh, state to back a curb. Our, our plans always refer to everything as um, curb face. And our grades are to top a curb. So first you're going to have an offset. Standard for us is a three foot offset. What's it an offset to? Either curb face or back a curb. That's my flagging. And then on the front, we also then put either our cut or our fill. This example is a, is a fill of five tenths. The F, sometimes, I mean, I always put a dash there. Some people put a plus. Some people don't even put anything. Um, but if it's an F, it just means fill. So there'll be a cut or fill, or it'll be grade. We can explain that later. A cut or a fill to whatever you're grading it to. So in this example, we're grading it to a top of curb, TC. That's what's on the front. And I think of the front of the lath as um, it's from the nail or the hub, whatever's set in front of it. Every, all the information on the front of the lath is, let's say, the nail, from the nail or from the hub. So if you go three feet from the hub, it's going to get you to curb face. And then from the hub, fill five tenths, and that'll give you a grade to the top of curb. On the back you're commonly going to see the elevation and stationing, if that's on there. We can explain what stationing is later. And any other description. So GB, put down as grade break. So these are common things that you're going to see on curb stakes. You're going to have an offset, what's offset to. You're going to have a cut or fill or grade to whatever you're grading it to. This is all on the cut sheet. All this information will be on the cut sheet as well. And then you also have an elevation. Without the elevation, we don't know how to cut or fill. And that elevation is from sea level. So the whole job site is graded from elevations on um, referring to sea level. Stationing is just where you are along that line. Again, we'll explain stationing later. Sometimes it won't be stationing there. Uh, and then other descriptions. Is it a grade break? Is it a begin a curve or whatever? Um, but that's how to read the lap, the basics. And then let's look at uh, how it kind of looks at on the ground. Okay, so here's an example of how that lap was written out in the uh, clip before. So three foot off curve face, fill of five tenths to TC. And let's say this is the actual curb that's going to be built. So this is your uh, top of curb here. There's your curb face. So this would be back of curb over here if you were sticking to that. Your flow line and your lip. You know, so your asphalt would be right here. So that's the profile of the, of the curb. So let's say we set a hub with the tack. When we elevate that hub, the elevation's on the back. And the, so again, on the front, I look at it as... From the hub or from the nail, that's all that information right there. So from this hub or from that tack, out three feet, and the lath will be facing um, what it's offset. Now, I know other states um, angle their lath towards, um, towards the offset. Uh, I'm unfamiliar on exactly why they do that and I don't know when they state curb or um, storm drain or what have you if if they do the same thing um, but for us in California and um, Arizona and such 
we, we face the lath towards the offset. So, um, so this lath says three feet from that tack offsetted to curb face. So that's the distance there. From the tack, three feet, level line to curb face. And the fill of five tenths, so from that tack, up five tenths, and then out three feet would be where that form needs to be set to pour that curb. Now we'll look over some common uh, abbreviations that you'll find on curb stakes. So here's some common line information on like what we're staking to. Um, you know, if the, if the curb has any curves in it, um, angle points and such. And again, I know it's a crude drawing, but it explains what we're trying to do. So let's say we're doing a three foot offset on a, on a curb line that has an angle point in it and we're staking on the outside. So we may have a stake here, three foot offset. And then when we get to the angle point, and if we're going up station this way, again, we'll talk about stationing uh, later, but if you're going up stationing, you're gonna have a production, or you're still gonna be on three foot offset perpendicular to this line. And it may say on the back, angle point, that's just the abbreviation for angle, point back, meaning it's on this line, so it's back on this, on this line, but it's an angle point. And then the next one will be angle point ahead, which means that we're moving forward along this line, and it's to the same angle point. So if you actually were to just strap in three feet this way, three feet this way, with these two angle points, you'll set that point there. If we're um, staking on the inside of that angle, you might come across what we put down as a, as a three by three because our three foot offset line is still going like this. But what that three by three means is it's three feet off this line and this way or this line and this way. It's not three feet from here to there that's a diagonal, but it's continuation of this line, three feet, continuation on this line, three feet, and it could be strapped in that way. Or you can figure out what a three by three is, math-wise, and we'll cover stuff like that in a whole other video. If you're staking along a, a, a curve, you might have, you know, uh, if the curve begins, you're gonna see something like, a, like BC, which just means begin of curve. You might have something that says PRC, which is the point of reverse curve. So as it transitions to another curve, um, that's what the PRC would stand for. In the middle of a curve, we might put down MOC, which is just middle of curve. If it's a random point on that line, we might just put POC, point on curve. Same thing if it was a straight line and we're kind of just gonna break it up. You might see um, um, point on curve, uh, POL, point on line, might be there. If it's a curb return, you can see things like BC, EC, where you know, the line goes tangent, or whoops, <laughs> there we go, nice, okay. Um, and then when they break up a curve, we break it up into deltas. And all the delta is, you see this little triangle? It's a sign for delta. All that delta means is whatever this angle is right there. So if it's a small enough curve, we may just stake a half delta, and that's all that means. It's just a halfway point along that curve. If it's a large curve, and we've been giving you uh, 25 foot uh, stationing, or you know, 25 feet in between um, stakes, We'll break it up into quarters, into fifths, into thirds, but that's all it means. It's just that angle has been broken up so you can pour that or set those forms in a um, manageable way to keep things nice and even. Um, if, if, if this was a three foot radius, which means three foot from there to the radius point, um, we may actually just stake a, um, a, a radius point and it'd still be three off curb face and on the back it would say like three foot, uh, uh, three foot radius curb face 
and there would be three grades on here, or two grades normally. We would have a grade to the BC and a grade to the EC. So it might say, uh, you know, fill of uh, 52 uh, BC, TC, and uh, fill of 0, 056 um, EC, TC. So that's what you'll normally see on, on, on line work. Now let's go over some descriptions on, you know, grade breaks and uh, things like that. Okay, these are just um, just some things off the top of my head, what you might see on lath. So on, um, like on the front of the lath, again, everything's like from the nail, but we use two foot lath when we stay curb. So, so uh, if we don't have room on the front, we'll put some things on the back or save some room on either side, depending on what we want to write down. So again, uh, like, a, like an offset, it might be the curb face. It may say just CF, curb face that way. Um, again, most people in California do it that way, just like a flow line. Some people write down flow line as FL, and some people use this little symbol like that. It means the same thing. BC, begin a curve, uh, or um, uh, we put that down for like back a curve, I'm sorry. So BC could be back a curb, or well, um, if the people are unfamiliar with um, setting forms to back a curb, we'll make sure it says like, you know, either BK, C, just, or we'll hit it with a little bit of paint, um, because this is uncommon for us, this is more common. And if I worked somewhere else where this was more common, this was uncommon, then I would highlight that a little bit. Um, again, for like grades, it could be fill, that would be a cut, that's our abbreviation for grade, or sometimes uh, people put a circle with a line through it, like that, it just means um, grade, it's that grade for the for TC. Trans, we use this a lot uh, for handicap ramps or uh, driveways or anything where the curb height transitions. So it might say begin trans, trans zero inch to six inch or something like that. Uh, HCR, that's our abbreviation for handicap ramp. I know, you know people probably use plenty of different abbreviations, but just to kind of show you what you can find. On the back, uh, as a descriptor, you know, we can have grade break, high point, low point, you know, there's stationing, zero plus zero, zero is usually the begin of a line. Um, and then, you know, we might have, again, begin, trans, zero to six. End, trans, zero to six. Uh, P-O-L, just point on line, usually means a straight line. P-O-C, point on curve, so a curve line. Half delta, again, it's just, the delta is whatever that angle is, Right there so the halfway mark and that's it that's kind of curb stakes in a in a, in a nutshell um, let me know what your uh, if you're a surveyor and you do things completely different with your state let me know so I can make another uh, video relating to other areas I can only go by what I do and what we do out here and I'm more than happy to make another video relating to other other areas. So that's it. Survey out.